countenance, but of the rights of all men. This is this is this is well said, sir. Very, very well said. The Christian king of Great Britain has waged cruel war against human nature itself in the persons of a distant people who never offended him, captivating and carrying them into slavery in another hemisphere. Yes, you, you, you lay the evils of slavery at the, the feet of the king, but you say nothing of slavery itself, sir. Now, surely... If uh, the trade is outlawed, but ownership is not, then those unfortunate Negroes still in servitude will become a more uh, lucrative commodity. Well, that's not what I intended, Dr. Franklin. Slavery is an abomination and must be loudly proclaimed as such, but I own that neither I nor any man has any uh, immediate solution to the problem. Oh, but it is no matter. The, the issue before us is independence and not emancipation. Dr. Franklin, this document is <laughs> something, something our friends in the Congress will debate, but I would be very surprised if they will countenance an attack on slavery. Now, <clears throat> we hold these truths to be sacred and undeniable that all men are created, equal, uh, etc. <clears throat> Sacred and undeniable. Smacks of the pulpit. Does it? These truths are self-evident, are they not? Perhaps. Self-evident, then. Self-evident? Self-evident. Do not mistake me, sir. I share your sentiment. Every single word was precisely chosen. I assure you of that, Dr. Franklin. Yes, but yours will not be the only hand in this document. It cannot be. They will try to mangle it, and they may succeed. There may be expressions which I would not have inserted if I had drawn it up, but I will defend every word of it. Well, that's what I believe. This is a, a marvellous invention. Mr. Jefferson. Yes, I went through a number of variations. This is by far the most successful. Simplest is always the best. It's two seats, and the top one swivels on rollers made from the uh, window sash pulleys. Oh, most ingenious. <laughs>